everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would share and go through my class schedule for the spring 2022 semester. I've done this for the last, I want to say few years, three or four semesters I want to say now. Um, I'm now a junior, studying aerospace engineering with a minor in computer science. However, as of right now, I'm not taking any computer science ne classes next semester. That is very subject to change because I can never make up my mind regardless. I thought I'd go through my class schedule. I registered about two weeks ago now, was able to get into all of my classes, um, didn't have any issues registering, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd go through that with you all. So without further ado, I will have my class schedule up here um, so you all can see what that looks like and everything as I'm speaking. So. I have my computer with my schedule all pulled up right next to me, so um, that is what I will be looking at. As I'd mentioned before, your junior year at CU, studying aerospace engineering, you don't really have much say in what you take. You have to take six four credit classes over the course of the year. Um, most people, I don't know anybody actually who hasn't done this, do three each semester unless they miraculously take one of them their sophomore year. Um, there are a few of the junior level courses that you are allowed to take second semester sophomore year because you already have enough prereqs for them. However, if you're taking any like applied math or physics classes or professional area electives, adding a junior class on top of the sophomore course load is really, really challenging. Um, so I did not do this. I took a comp sci class, what is considered to be the weed out comp sci class that semester. It was a very challenging class. It honestly may have been my most hard class last semester was my comp sci class, but um, regardless. So because of that, because I've already taken my three this semester and I should pass them all, I'm doing pretty decent in all of them. Um, unless something, unless I get like a 20 on the final, we'll see. Um, I should be set to only need to take these three classes next semester. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm kind of debating whether or not taking a computer science class next semester. There is an intro to cybersecurity class that looks quite interesting to me, as well as principles of programming languages. I'm not super excited about that class, but it is required for the minor and the path with the minor that I'm going down. Um, so if I don't take them next semester, I'll need to take those courses senior year. However, senior year is pretty relaxed. I I don't know. I have so many mixed feelings about wanting to do the accelerated masters or not, whether or not it's worth it. Um, oftentimes it only saves you one semester and it makes your course load significantly more stressful. And I'm not quite sure how worth it that is to me. Um, and next semester I'm really trying to be able to make more time for myself and be less busy if I'm able to. So if I'm able to push that comp sci class back towards senior year, I think I'm going to as of right now. That is my plan is to not take that comp sci course next semester. Put it on senior year when I have the time um, because if I'm not doing accelerated masters I will have more than enough time senior year. So there's that. That's my little spiel. Um, Alrighty, now on to my calendar and everything for next semester. It's kind of weird. I don't like my schedule, but I really do not have much freedom whatsoever with this. So, um, as you can see, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have a 50 minute lecture from 9.35 to 10.25 a.m. This is my structures lecture. This class is kind of an extension of static structures and materials that you take your sophomore year. However, sophomore year you have not really what's the word it's like definitely the much more like basic intro version you also do not have like the knowledge and skills to talk about like thermal expansion and principles like that so um what is what does the course description say this is a four credit class you have two hours of lab a week and then three hours of lecture there's only one junior course that doesn't follow that structure and that's electronics and communications that i'm taking right now that course has two lecture credit hours and then you have four hours of lab a week and it's only a four credit class with well over six hours of like actual in-class time work because it's a flipped classroom so you also have to watch pre-lecture. Either way, that class is so much work but um, I'm really excited to only have my three courses next semester. Each only have two lab hours a week 
just because lab does get quite exhausting. So the description for my structures class says teaches mechanics of materials, methods of stress and deformation analysis applicable to the design and verification of aircraft and space structures. It offers an introduction to matrix and finite element methods used for truss structures and to what? I'm so bad at reading. It offers an introduction to matrix and finite element methods for truss structures and to mechanical vibrations. Okay, no, I'm not bad at reading. That's so poorly worded. And to mechanical vibrations. Finite element methods to mechanical. I'm confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stupid. This is my only class next semester where the lectures are 50 minute lectures. All of my lectures right now are 50 minutes, but next semester, two of them are 75 minutes, I believe. Yeah, they're 75 minutes, which I'm not excited for, but I really don't get much say or much choice. But the 75 minute ones are only twice a week, which is kind of nice, but also 75 minutes in these lecture halls is a long time to like focus and stay awake. Um, and also then you need to go to the bathroom and you get hungry and it's a whole debacle, especially my one class at 1 to 2.15. We'll see. So as you can see on Mondays, I only have that one lecture, which is kind of odd. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Um, I'm like debating committing to working too much during that time because it might be nice to be able to go home, travel, have like a three day weekend, that sort of thing. Um, and my one lab job is really flexible with my hours. But my other job, my hours are set every single week, so if I committed to work then it'd be really hard for me to get the time off. So we will see with that. I'm kind of debating what I want to do with that um, and what Mondays will look like, but I want to be keeping myself busy so that I am not getting like bored. Like, I don't know. I need to find some more hobbies, I feel like. <laughs> Moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday, I only have two lectures. And my Tuesday Thursdays are so weird. I have not had a class. I have not had a semester. Okay, words. Every semester up to this point, I've had like at least four days a week with a class that starts before 10 a.m. So to have this class, my, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays start at one o'clock is so odd to me. For each of my three classes next semester, they only offer one lecture section, so you're really forced to take your lecture in your class at that time. Like, you do not have an option. So I do not have an option with my lectures, um, so I will be taking aircraft dynamics from 1 to 2.15 on Tuesday, Thursdays. I am so excited for this class, y'all. I am in orbital mechanics right now that I don't love, but the attitude dynamics part of it I actually found quite interesting. And I'm in aerodynamics right now, which I also love, and I've heard aircraft as kind of like a combination between the two, and you also spend a significant portion of the semester just doing, like, aeronautics. That might be the entire class, actually. Um, I've also heard great things about these professors, and I'm honestly just really excited for this class, so... The class description says, develops the fundamental concepts of aircraft dynamics, covers flight mechanics, performance dynamics, and control of aircraft and how they impact aircraft design. So that sounds right up my alley. Y'all know I want to do something in aeronautics, not quite sure if it's like vehicle design or like space or like aircraft design. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm really excited for that class. Like I mentioned, that only has lecture twice a week, which there's some pros and cons to. And then later that day from 4 to 5, 15 p.m., I have thermodynamics and heat transfer. Um, what does the class description for this say? And just like my other classes, three lecture hours a week and then two lab hours. This course description says, focuses on the application of the first and second laws of thermodynamics to control volumes and teaches the fundamental concepts of different modes of energy and heat transfer. Learn to use these concepts in gas dynamics, high speed vehicle spacecraft design, environmental systems, and energy analysis. I have mixed feelings about this class. I, I don't know. I didn't love like intro to thermodynamics when I took it, but I really like aerodynamics and there's a lot of overlap between the two. And I don't know if I just didn't like it that much the first time because I took it fully like remote. 
Um, so I'm hoping that being in person and having like physical hands on labs will like me enjoy this class a little bit more, but I do think it could be interesting. I've heard it's pretty hard, so we'll see, we'll see. And as you can see, Tuesday, Thursdays, I don't have anything before one o'clock. I'm thinking I wanna fill this time with work. I really find that I like having bigger chunks to be able to work, and so do a lot of my bosses, especially for my lab position. So if I could go in and work four or five hours a few times a week um, in one big segment, I could really get a lot of work done, really be productive, log some good hours, um, and it would keep me busy in the mornings. I am someone that really likes to get up, not early, but I do like to get my day going. Um, so I think, you know, if I wanted to work at 8.30 or 9, something like that would be really nice for me to get up, get going. Um, and if I have somewhere that forces, ooh, how do I, how do I say this? If I have to go somewhere, it'll get me out of bed more than just having to do homework. So, um, I'm really hoping I can work then and I will need to play around with my work schedule a little bit. So we'll see. Wednesday looks quite similar to Monday in the sense that I still have that structures lecture in the morning and then I have my aircraft dynamics lab. These labs are an hour and 50 minutes long um, and I believe all three of them for this class are group labs. My aerodynamics class right now all the labs are individual. They're all individual coding MATLAB assignments so I have mixed feelings about the individual versus the group because I feel like the individual makes everybody do their own work which I really appreciate because you can't get like carried through your lab um but I do think working with a group is like good to learn those skills I really like getting to meet new people and like making friends and stuff like that as cheesy as it sounds um and I also feel like it holds me more accountable to get my work done earlier when I'm fully like self-sufficient and dependent on myself I tend to procrastinate a lot more so um, we will see. I've heard these labs are pretty hard and I've heard aircraft dynamics as a class is pretty hard. I suspect it's my hardest class next semester, but I do really am genuinely interested in those topics. So I'm hoping that helps me, um, you know, be a little bit more motivated to study and whatnot. As you can see on Wednesdays, I have these larger gaps here as well. Um, I'm hoping that these gaps are where I can either give a tour or just do some more work. I do give tours for the aerospace building and those tours are something I cannot miss. Like if I sign up for a time slot to give a tour for this semester, it is expected that you are always there. Like that is not something you can ever like ask for time off for like the other parts of my job I can. Um, so I really hesitate with having those on the weekends or um, like Monday, Friday kind of thing in case something comes up. Um, and just in case I, I don't know, have to go home for whatever reason, like family emergencies, those sorts of things get stuck somewhere. Um, so for my own safety and just like sanity, I like not having, um, that, that two work commitment on Mondays and Fridays. So I feel like Wednesday might be a good time for it. I do need to block out two hours for each tour that I give. Um, so the only block that I truly have two hours is Wednesday mornings and Wednesday afternoons um, or Tuesday Thursday mornings which I feel like afternoon tours are generally more popular than the morning ones so we'll see. Thursday looks just the same as Tuesday same goes for um, the lectures I have that day when I'm gonna work that sort of thing I really like all these big gaps I have like I keep mentioning I right now have two lectures back to back which like doesn't sound that bad because they're only 50 minutes but it's in the same room oh my gosh i am not a fan i do not like it so we'll see um i like how i have these gaps between my lectures because it gives me some time to go do something else wake up a little bit and then come back and it's not that i'm like sleeping through my lectures do not get the wrong idea i love my lectures i love my professors i love what i'm learning but sitting in a freezing cold lecture hall in the same chair for two hours straight um, at like, you know, noon to two o'clock in the afternoon when you're like tired and hungry is so hard. So we'll see. Fridays are my sucky day. I am not excited for Fridays. I had no say in my Friday. 
other than the fact that I believe I could have moved my thermodynamics lecture to Ooh, okay, my thermodynamics lab, I could move to Thursday morning. Oh, just kidding, it's waitlisted. Um, and then my structures lab, I could move to even later in the day on Friday. So we got a lot of say on how awesome my Fridays are. So um, I'm going with this right now for my Fridays. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not totally really at all. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to only having a 10 minute break between my structures lecture and then my two hour thermodynamics lab. And then I have a 30 minute break, 35 minute break in between my two labs. Those labs to my knowledge are in the same classroom. So four hours straight practically in the same classroom also is not gonna be that enjoyable. But I don't have a much I don't have much of an option here. So this is what we're going for. Um, like I mentioned, I am debating taking a comp sci class, in which case that comp sci class that I'm the main one I'm debating taking is Tuesday, Thursday mornings, and then a Thursday, like seven o'clock, six o'clock recitation, which the timing for the recitation sucks, but I don't want to move my thermodynamics um lab to Thursday because it wouldn't allow me to take that class later. And I'll also have to see for that, there is a wait list on that lab, so, um, of 16 people. And there's only 50 people allowed, so I think I'm pretty much stuck, so, either way. <laughs> but that is what my schedule for next semester looks like. I hope you all found that interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out on Instagram, ask me down below in the comments, what have you. I find it really interesting kind of why people tailor their schedules the way they do, how much say they have, what all of these classes are about, um, and just how like the aerospace curriculums vary between schools. So I hope you all enjoyed that and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.